Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how I created this uh, template. Uh, too many of you asked for this uh, tutorial, so I'm gonna do it now. Well, uh, in this template I've created the particles and they have revealed the text just with uh, with this text animation. But today I'm gonna show you a different technique to reveal the text. So let's get started. Start a new project. Okay. Create a, a background. Oh, not yet. I will create just a normal solid. This I will use for uh, to reveal the text. Type code, particular. Okay. Uh, we will animate this emitter position starting from ok I will press U so I can see the keyframes starting from 0 here I mean we we'll start from here going to to the end here ok Ok, let's go play with the particles now. Uh, the auxiliary system continuously create a longer life. Uh, more particles. Co I take the color from the main particles, and uh, will I will hide the original particles. No, I don't need them. I will keep working only on the auxiliary system. I uh, will increase the size for this. Okay, it will go like this. Increase the velocity. Uh, more particles, maybe, or just okay. I will uh, play with the size over life. I will make to make it sharp at the end. Okay. Maybe need more particles here. Okay, just to make sure it covers uh, most of the the screen, well the the place where 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 we can put the the title. Let's call this text reveal. Okay. Now let's start working on our man part man comp. Okay. We will uh, create a white background with our text. First text. Okay, in the middle. And we'll use this uh reveal that we've created new mamat okay this is what uh, track mat does I just uh, use track mat and uh, here new mamat it will take the, the luminance of this uh, composition and it will use it to reveal the this layer ok now let's go ahead and create our particles particles right we will call it emitter it won't work if you leave it if you didn't rename it to emitter okay we we'll use here lights okay this is what the light does it uh, wherever I put the light it controls the position of, uh, of my particles okay to go back to our view uh, we'll put it here, ok that's my view we'll animate this 
slide for the beginning. It seems it will just to the end. Okay. Just a basic animation. Uh, you can see my particles because they are white, so let's change the color to black. Okay, now we can see them. Uh, let's go ahead. Uh, we'll use the auxiliary system again. Continuously. More particles. Uh, make this one just one. Decrease the size. Is more than this. Okay. Let's take the color from the man particles. I'm gonna hide the the original particles. Okay. This is a start. Let's go ahead and play with the physics. Go to physics there. Turbulence field. Let's make it 100. Okay. Here, go into turbulence for the, the extra particles. Let's increase this. Oh, it's too much. Okay. That will do the trick. We can decrease the, the opacity. Uh, continue. Increase the size a little bit. Right. Just uh, play with the settings until you get the look you want. Spin amplitude. Okay. To get rid of this uh, grainy look, I will use the the effect vector blur. When you apply the effect vector blur to this uh, layer, you notice that it doesn't work. It doesn't. Nothing is changing. So, in order to make it work, we need to. You can uh, put this uh, layer in a new composition or just to go ahead and uh, create an adjustment layer and then we apply that effect blur, vector blur okay, not too much let's try this okay okay, it's, it looks more uh, of uh, like a Pink effect. Okay, we can add another solid for uh, the vignette. Double click when you double click it, it will create this automatically. You see ellipse tool, double click, and uh, we go to the mask here, feather, mask feather. Uh, first we need to subtract this and then we fill it okay after that we can uh, create an adjustment layer to add in some color you can use any green squares or levels I will use U and saturation for this colorize decrease the, the saturation okay then you can play with the color. 
choose the color you want. Okay, I think that's it. If you want to make uh, more uh, layers, more uh, text, titles, you can crea create a camera. Make it title 3D. And uh, just animate the, the emitter li uh, light, the, this light will control the position of the particles and animate the camera with it. And that's it. You can uh, go to the other side or rotate the camera or... You can also stop, uh, you can animate the, the particle amount here. Particle per second. It's too much maybe. You can always animate this. Back to zero. And uh, until you see. Don't emit any more particles. Then you will go ahead to. And animate your light to go to other side or and animate uh, the camera you can use an all object I don't want to make this uh, tutorial much longer I just want to show you how you made this effect because so many of you have requested this so I think that's it thank you guys for watching and uh, see you next time